Hi, so this video is going to go over how to use Mixer to create a root certificate for VPN and also the client certificate for the VPN. And if you're looking for the entire step-by-step -step on how to create a VPN, uh, go to my step-by-step -step video. This particular video is just going to concentrate on the Mixer. So I'm going to get started here. So I, I am currently in the directory where I have the Mixer. Um, if you don't have that, what you'll have to do is go over here to this link and I'll have this in the description area and you're gonna have to download that particular link and so um, what I'm gonna do here is my mixer will be in program files x86 windows kit 10 directory 10 bin x86 and I am gonna copy that directory and I am actually gonna put it in my command path so make sure you are in administrator mode when you open up your PowerShell and I am gonna go to the command prompt and I'm gonna type in CMD and now I'm actually in the command prompt shell and I am gonna set my path here and you'll notice I added that path where my make cert command is and once again if you need make cert uh, you're gonna have to go to this URL and download this SDK so I'm gonna add that to my path and now I have make cert in my path meaning that when I type make cert it's gonna find that program and I am gonna go into my temp directory It's empty here so the first command I am going to run is the make cert to create the root certificate and I will have all of these commands in the description area so that's my command there and once again I'll have the command in the and actually all of these certificates in the description area for download so I'm going to wait a while and it created the root certificate and to view the root certificate you'll notice if I go under explorer open up this here you'll notice it has the certificate here now I have to create a base 32 certificate meaning it, it will be a text representation of the certificate and the way I'm going to do that is go into cert manager so I'm going to type in cert manager MSC and in my personal certificates if I scroll all the way down to the A's here you'll notice that is the certificate I created with this command and I am going to export this certificate here by right clicking on it and choosing export I will export without the private key I am going to select base 64 and I am going to name it exactly the same as what I have here with an extension of base 64 and you'll notice here it has been exported and if I open this up in TextPad or in any editor, you'll notice it is in this manner. Now what I have to do is, because if I go back to Azure, you'll notice Azure expects this to all be under one, one uh, string. So I am going to have to collapse this to be one string. And I am going to do that by getting rid of all the new lines. Um, now this is all in one string I'm going to cut and paste it and I could add this root certificate another root certificate here and specify it now I am absolutely not done yet here 
because um, I'll have to create a client certificate out of that root certificate. So after I do this, and again, you're going to have to refer to the step-by-step -step video where I create the entire, the entire VPN gateway. Um, here I just want to cover make cert for those who already know how to create the gateway, the VPN gateway. So um, to create the client certificate, I'm going to have to use the root certificate and create the client certificate out of that. So the command for that is this and again that will be available in the description area. So you'll notice I have those here and I am going to execute this command and notice I named the VPN client cert and that succeeded and what that does is once again I'm going to go back to my cert manager and I'm going to refresh here for the certificate that was created and you'll notice that's the root certificate that goes in the configuration of the gateway and this is the client certificate and you'll need the client certificate along with the VPN client that is the executable uh, as this certificate will uh, work with the root certificate here and I will export this to be distributed to the other certificates so this will prompt me for a password and I am going to choose the defaults here. I am just going to name this password, password. And the file name will be exactly what I have. So it will be C Tempt Azure VPN PFX. And you'll notice what you'll notice here is that so this PFX file you're gonna have to distribute with your VPN client which is the executable and the person will have to install it by double clicking on it and installing it And uh, you know that's really it. That that's how you create the two client certificate and root certificates. And I will have these uh, this set of certificates and also the instructions for the entire VPN process. And once again, this is only a short video on the make cert aspect of the VPN. Uh, whereas I do have a step by step video on how to create this point to site VPN entirely and you could watch that. That link will also be in the description area or in the corner here of the video. And that's really it. I hope this helped and thank you for watching.